Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Guardian under the main headline of Putin wants Korean scenario for Ukraine. Says intelligence chief. Summary of headline article. Vladimir Putin is seeking to split Ukraine into two. Emulating the post-war division between North and South Korea. The invaded country's military intelligence chief has said. It is an attempt to create North and South Korea in Ukraine, he said of the new Kremlin strategy. Western officials are determined to prevent Putin from normalizing a division in Ukraine. Budanov said he was convinced the Russian president was seeking to split Ukraine despite the attack. In the West. Only the third major assault there since the war began. There is reason to believe that he is considering a Korean scenario. For Ukraine. From Channel 4 under the main headline of Putin's regime must be brought to an end for sake of. Humanity. Says Ukrainian MP. Summary of headline article. We spoke to Ukrainian MP Lysia Vasilenko. Who is still in the capital Kyiv. And began by asking her what she made of President Biden's comments and whether she wished it would. Mirror American policy? From the sun under the main headline of docs reveal more on Foo Fighters Taylor. Summary of headline article. Taylor Hawkins' heart was twice the normal size when he collapsed with chest pains after a drugs. Binge. Investigators have revealed. A statement said today. Colombia's National State Prosecution Service can confirm the following after the initial autopsy. On the body of Taylor Hawkins. That in the toxicology test on Taylor Hawkins' urine 10 types of substances were preliminarily found. Including marijuana. Tricyclic antidepressants. Benzodiazepines. And opioids. The National Institute of Forensic Medicine is continuing its medical studies to be able to completely clarify the facts that led to Taylor Hawkins' death. While with the band, Taylor started a side project called Taylor Hawkins and the Coattail Riders. From The Guardian under the main headline of Woman Stabbed to Death in East London while her children were at school. Summary of headline article. A man has been arrested on suspicion of murder after a woman was stabbed to death while her children were at school. The victim of the attack in Bethnal Green, East London, has been named as 40-year-old Yasmin Begum, who was from the area. The Metropolitan Police said a 40-year-old suspect was detained on Sunday in Stratford and remains in police custody. A post-mortem examination carried out on Saturday established the cause of death as multiple sharp force injuries. Police said. Officers were called to Globe Road shortly after 4 p.m. on Thursday after school staff raised the alarm when Begum did not arrive to pick up her children. Scotland Yard said. From the Independent under the main headline of snow to follow sun as UK temperatures plummet by 10 C. Summary of headline article. Snow could fall in parts of the UK this week with temperatures set to plummet over the coming days. Forecasters say. The Met Office said the country will become colder. Cloudier and more unsettled from Monday. Bringing the risk of wintry weather in the middle of the week. Temperatures during the day will halve from the highs reached last week and fall below freezing. Overnight as a cold front pushes down from the north. Many areas have basked in glorious sunshine and highs of 20 C. P.A. The cold front comes after many areas basked in glorious sunshine and highs of 20 C. 68 F. Last week. During the evening. Cloud will begin to spread eastwards. Bringing showers. Dense patches of fog and frost. From the Independent under the main headline of Rishi Sunak, making economy worse. 
says senior Tory David Davis. Summary of headline article. Rishi Sunak is, making things worse, when it comes to the UK economy. The senior Conservative MP David Davis has warned in a stinging attack on the Chancellor. The former cabinet minister said Mr Sunak and his treasury team had no strategy to deal with the mounting cost of living crisis following the chancellor's heavily criticized spring statement. My view of the treasury's economic strategy is that there isn't one, Mr Davis told LBC on Sunday. It would make sense to do it like that again. Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi hinted that Mr. Sunak is planning further help with living costs in the months ahead. Labour branded the Chancellor, Mr. Tax, on Sunday, accusing him of acting in his own interest, rather than those of the British people. From the Sun under the main headline of update on latest COVID booster jab. Summary of headline article. More than 600,000 Brits will be invited to get their spring COVID booster jabs next week. 1,000s more Brits will be offered their spring COVID booster in the week beginning March 28. Credit. Alamy around 5.5 million people in England qualify for the extra shot. Pegged as the key to getting life back to normal. And since rolling out spring boosters on March 21. More than 470,000 people have come forward, NHS England said. And they continue to play a crucial role in protecting us all against COVID. So please do book in when invited. Their pleas for Brits to get jabbed come as coronavirus infection levels climb close to record. Highs. From iNews under the main headline of inheriting Queen's position as head of the Commonwealth isn't on my mind, says Prince William. Summary of headline article. Prince William has announced he's not concerned with inheriting the Queen's position as head of the Commonwealth. Prince William said, tours such as this reaffirm our desire to serve the people of the Commonwealth and to listen to communities around the world. Who the Commonwealth chooses to lead its family in the future isn't what is on my mind. He said, I think Prince William is right to say that people have to decide independently if they want to be part of the Commonwealth family. And that decision will strengthen the Commonwealth, not take away from it. I think he's being very wise and has chosen his words carefully. From Sky News under the main headline of Shrewsbury Maternity Scandal. Climate of Fear. Stopped staff speaking out at Hospital Trust where hundreds of babies died. Summary of headline article. A whistleblower who worked at a hospital trust where hundreds of babies died or were left. Brain damaged says there was a climate of fear among staff who tried to report concerns. Bernie Bentick was a consultant obstetrician at the Shrewsbury and Telford NHS Trust for almost 30 years. It is already recognized as the worst maternity scandal in the history of the NHS. In Shrewsbury and Telford there was a climate of fear where staff felt unable to speak up because of risk of victimization, Mr. Bentick said. Image. Bernie Bentick was a consultant obstetrician at Shrewsbury and Telford NHS Trust more than 1,800. Cases of potentially avoidable harm have been reviewed by the inquiry. From Sky News under the main headline of why William and Kate's Caribbean tour wasn't the disaster. Certain photos made it out to be. Summary of headline article. The royal couple and their team may have left the Caribbean thinking the opposite. At the end of the seven days. It feels like we are in a new era for royal tours. In the Bahamas. I was out on a boat watching both William and Kate getting drenched in sailing. With his parting remarks to end the tour. William obviously wanted to make the point he's been listening. Both to those on the ground and potentially to some press criticism. 
but they have very experienced bosses in William and Kate. A couple used to bruising headlines. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.